I figured, Isaac, we were talking about Jay Groom a little bit last week. Um, and I don't know if you saw the recent De- Dennis Lynn article, but it does seem like he's a guy that is po- probably, it seems like, going to make the opening day roster. So really looking good on his front. And it's weird because we can start out with him just because I feel like that's the most thing up to date. But Jay Groom was the guy that we traded for a Eric Hosmer salary dump. And so Eric Hosmer might have actually turned into something that's going to help the Potters a lot. And that's a, a depth starter, first guy off the bench starter, which we didn't really see it be that like impactful of a thing last year. But in 2021, that was what the Padres didn't have. So to have that this year, to have a little bit of insurance, I think it's huge. So what do you think about him almost kind of stepping into that opening day roster role? I think it's going to be, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it just because, yeah, I mean, he is going to be probably our best depth option. And and that's good, you know. Um, he's worked his way up and he's gone through some injury battles, I guess you could say, back in Boston. But he was a first-round pick. He was a highly touted prospect. And he's an interesting prospect because we've never really gotten to see how, um, you know, how talented he is on, on a major league baseball field. Um, he looked good in AAA with the, uh, in El Paso. So that's a good thing because everyone gets rocked in El Paso. Everyone's numbers balloon in El Paso as a pitcher. Happened to Ryan Weathers. Happened to um, Mackenzie Gore. Happens to a lot of the pitchers over there. And um, didn't happen to him. So that's a good thing. Obviously, he's going to be the first guy up, I believe, with Tehran having a recent outing that wasn't very good. I believe it was like five earned or almost five earned runs in around three innings. So it wasn't a very good outing for Tehran, but um, – nothing but but good things from from jay groom and um i'm not expecting anything crazy it, it's gonna be good to get anything we can get out of that hosmer deal um and, you know unfortunately we do have to eat all his money but um anything we can get out of that deal is gonna be good so if it's a depth starter and he can give us a few starts and then end up giving us 60 70 innings throughout the year um i'll be a very happy camper yeah, and I, I agree with that too. And in the article, I kind of talked about basically that he's just looked good. His velocity is up a couple miles an hour, um, and basically that they just feel confident with him there. So really cool um, on that end that that Hosmer is actually turning into something. So I think that's because it's interesting. Like when you just do a salary dump like that, you're not really gaining anything out of it besides getting Jay Groom. Like that's yeah. the only thing you're really getting because you're gonna have to pay the salary either way. They didn't really save any money by moving Hosmer, I don't think. Or maybe it was like a very small amount. Um, but yeah, so overall, I mean, I feel like that's kind of a, a win in itself if he can give you, what do you say, 60 innings? That, that's pretty good for a first year. And and also to have a little bit of youth in the rotation, just because – and even the bullpen for, for, for that kind of part two, if he ended up being in, in a bullpen role later on in the year. Um, but I think it's good because the Padres – we're going to see this in a couple of years, but the Potters are going to have to reload a lot when it comes to the rotation. And I think this is maybe a good start. If he could be like a four or five, like that, that's, that's all you're really asking for a lot of these guys. I feel like the Potters have shown that they'll go out and spend money to get another starter. If they're going to need to, I know they have mostly, they haven't really signed starters to that much, but you look at the U Darvish deal, you look at the Joe Musgrove deal and you're you kind of get the idea that, yeah, they're willing to still pay a, a pretty penny for, you know, high end starters. So, I do think that can happen, but getting depth is is huge.